This is your speaking test for International English Language Testing System. My name is Vikas Sharma. I am going to be your IELTS test examiner. Today is 4th of June 2024. The center is Kurukshetra. The center number is 193434. The candidate is Anju. Hello. Hello, sir. May I know your full name, please? In short, my name is Anju. Please call me Anju. Anju, can I have your ID, please? Please, sure. Yes. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Anju, in this first part for IELTS speaking, I'll be asking you some questions about yourself and most of them are personal. So, are you a student or do you work? Actually, these days I am pursuing a language course to brush up my communication skills. Apart from this, I am working as a visa filing officer in which I am just helping the students who wants to study abroad. Where are you from, Anju? I am from Kurukshetra, which is situated in the northern part of India. It is one of the famous cities of Haryana. Uh, do you like living here? Yes, I love my hometown. I am born and brought up here and since my childhood, I have created so many memories here. There are so many eye-catching places are here that makes it appealing and it has so many modern amenities are there, which is the make it the best place to live in. Do you plan to live here in future as well? Uh, not for the long term, but yes, I just want to connect with my roots. So wherever I just go there, but uh, I would like to visit my hometown because there are the so many emotional connections with it. And uh, it's just helped me to connect with my roots also. Right. So let's talk about asking for help. So do you ask for help when you have a problem? Yes, whenever I stuck any of the problem, I don't mind to ask for the help from the others because in that way I can just seek the solution to fix that problem. Apart from this, it just uh, broaden my mental horizon because I can be a creative and sometimes for the same problems, I get the solution from the different problem so that I can get the best solution to fix that problem. What kind of help do you often ask for? In my day-to-day -day life, there are the various things like whenever I just uh, stuck in that, like in my office while doing some project and uh, I am not confusing about in what way we have to deal that. So I always uh, ask from the professionals uh, who can uh, give me the solution of that problem. Why are teachers always willing to help their students? I think teachers uh, are um, so much dedicated, uh, they love to teach the students because they just want to ensure their academic progress so that they can uh, uh, get the best result. Some teachers are so much passionate about work, they love to share the knowledge with the children and they always like ready to help the, uh, their children uh, so that uh, they can uh, just grow up well and uh, get a good uh, score. When was the last time you asked for help? Uh, if my memory serves me well, uh, last week when I was working on a project and I need to complete it on uh, by using the Microsoft Excel, suddenly my uh, screen just uh, blank and uh, uh, I was not getting like uh, what kind of other things I have to do to fix that problem because it was totally blank. I just uh, tried uh, to um, switch on the computer again and again but uh, after so many attempts I took the help from my IT department. Uh, he just uh, um, helped me to fix that problem. Let's talk about challenges. So what subject do you think is the most challenging at school? Uh, I love my school time and uh, each and every one subject was uh, uh, one my favorite but uh, one of the subject that I found it is so much difficult for me that was the math because uh, unlike the other subjects we can memorize the thing but in the mathematics we have to confront complex calculations, formulas and the theorems and there are the so many uh, like the subjects areas are included in the mass like the algebra. Do you like to challenge yourself? 
I think challenges helps me a lot to pull out my hidden talent. Sometimes I couldn't get to know uh, my strength and the weakness. I think it's just whenever I just push myself to face any kind of the thing that is new for me and I'm thinking so uh, it's the challenging for me or I can do it or not. I think by putting myself in the challenges, I can get to know about my potential. How do you usually deal with challenges in your day to day life? There are the different kind of the strategies I use to face the challenges like I always uh, prioritize the thing to make the to do list. Apart from this, I also maintain like the schedule in what way I have to deal. Uh, moving ahead, uh, I love to do uh, like the meditation and the yoga to incorporate in my life so that I can face the challenges with the calm mind. What type of challenges do you think students usually face at school? Uh, it depends on the student's uh, mindset and the thought process because it's very from uh, student to student. Uh, there are the various kinds of the problems the student can face whenever they are at the school. Maybe uh, they face the problem about the teaching style of the teacher. Uh, maybe they are uh, not getting at the level uh, and uh, they are uh, not understanding what kind of the things uh, they have to incorporate in their uh, uh, learning style so that they can uh, cope up with the things and they can get the concept whatever the teacher is teaching in the class. Well, that's the end of your IELTS speaking part one. In part two for this test, I will be giving you a topic to speak upon. You have to talk on this topic for one or two minutes. Make notes if you wish to. Here is your paper and pencil. And you have to talk about a person who encourage you to achieve your goal. Well, you may begin speaking now. While in the bag of the distinct personality, I have came across many kind of the people in my life. Some are so much optimistic, some are the motivational guider for me and some are the jack of all trade. But here I would like to talk about a human being that I am considering as an ideal for my life. He is a so much motivation for me because uh, I can get the inspiration from her. She is uh, Maniba Masri, uh, known as uh, the Iron Lady of Pakistan. She is born and brought up in the Pakistan, uh, but like an ordinary man, she was living her life. But one day the table turned when she met with an accident. and. Uh, in that she got so many injuries doctors had to insert so many iron rods uh, in order to make her survival in the life and that's why she got the title as the iron lady of the pakistan actually um, uh, after confronting so many hardship and uh, after uh, tossing across uh, the major accident she didn't give up in her life she just uh, uh, sees himself and uh, see himself with the differently able people not like the people just like to see her the disabled people she uh, uh, started to give the motivation to the young people and a very uh, good message that has put the indelible imprint on my mind she always uh, says in her interview to the youngsters, don't die before the death. That thing is uh, so much appealing to me and sometimes it gave me the goosebump because the journey she covered in her life that are the wrecks to riches. And um, she now uh, at this time presently, she is uh, running so many charity organization in which she is uh, providing her helping hand to the needy people and to the destitute people. And uh, she is a self-made lady. She confronted so many hardships in life. Despite of confronting the hardships, she never considered this as the roadblock. And uh, she rose from the scratches and now she has gained so much name and fame. And the people are... Uh, considering him as the inspiration in her life. I always like... Uh, well, that's it. Thank you so much. Can I have the pencil and paper back, please? Thank you. 
Well, in this last part for IELTS speaking, I'll be asking you some general questions about this topic. So you spoke about someone who encouraged you to achieve a goal. So do you think children are more likely to achieve their goals if they are encouraged? Yes, I think children are immature and so much innocent if someone just enlightening their way uh, so that they can follow the footprints of them. If they are uh, encouraged by the teachers and the parents, I think they can pull out the hidden talent from them and encouragement can uh, give them the exposure also like to do work hard and to uh, push their uh, capability into the different kind of the challenges that will help help them to in their personal growth i think and uh, they will become more developed in the future so what should parents do if children do not want to study I think parents are the role model for the children. If the children don't want to do the study, I think parents should set an example in front of uh, them, like to engage them in the study. They should start studying in the front of them. Like uh, for example, some student is not getting interest in the reading. So they have to start uh, various kinds of the book and they have to also incorporate the children in that uh, reading sections to ask some basic questions from this. About from this uh, parents can uh, also uh, give some rewards to them like uh, to allow their uh, screen time and uh, uh, like to uh, give them uh, their favorite electronic gadgets and uh, to increase their pocket money i think uh, in that way they will be encouraged um moving ahead i just want to say if the parents are uh, uh, warn them if the children is not uh, considering about and they are not taking their parents serious then they can warn them about the repercussion of uh, not uh, doing the study who do you think should set goals for children? I think everyone uh, should have the freedom to set the goals because no one know and uh, not the teachers and the parents can get to know what kind of the things the children is find interesting. If someone is uh, not finding anything enjoyable and the parents just uh, um, impose the things like you have to do this and you have to become uh, like a cricketer or something that maybe they don't have the interest and lack of the interest just uh, hinder their progress. They will uh, not uh, um, push their capability in it to achieve that goal if they have the freedom like to choose their goal they will be more successful i think because they will be more dedicated to achieve it and uh, they will do the hard work to achieve that goal so who plays a more important role in children's education parents or teachers I think the onus lies on both the shoulders. If I talk about the teachers, uh, I think teachers are more professional. They know about in what way uh, they have to teach the students and the tackle. So they can just uh, help them to get the good academic scores and they will understand the concept because they are already master in it. They have the profound knowledge. They know about how to, uh, how to fix if someone student is not getting the things to understanding their level i think the parents can know through maybe the parents don't have the interest in that subject uh, apart from this um children spend most of the time with their uh, teachers they have the great bond with them they know about their weak points where they have to be work so the teachers can be do better let's talk about money and motivation so do you think money is the only way to motivate people in their work no, I don't think so. Although money is necessary in order to survive the life, but I think there are the different uh, other factors also that is so much important, like um, the happiness of the family uh, also push a, uh, someone like to do work hard because they want to fulfill each and every one need of their family members. They want to give them the luxurious life. So they always uh, put their efforts like to do the hard work so that they can earn the money and uh, fulfill the dreams of their children apart from this which is more important uh, competition or cooperation 
I will say both because uh, everyone uh, like uh, the competition and the cooperation both uh, is having the important role in everyone life whether if I talk about the students or uh, anyone professional we have to beat with the competition. Well thank you so much that's the end of your IELTS speaking test today. Thank you.